Okay, so I am Antoine from France and I'm going to show you how to cook uh, a real tiramisu in uh, just 20 minutes. So the basic ingredients that you need are going to be mascarpone, so 500 grams, um, some lady fingers, uh, 8 eggs, uh, what else? Sugar, coffee, uh, chocolate, and uh, that's it. Basically. Well, this is, cho this is uh, so Nesquik. Powder, yeah, next week. And there's some sugar, so it's going to be a tiramisu for uh, around 10 to 12 persons. People, yeah. People. Uh -huh. And uh, let's, uh, let's start. So what's the first thing you do? Okay, so the first step is to make some uh, coffee. So you take some uh, Nesquik, you put in the coffee liquid like this, you know. Just a bit. How much? Uh, you know, just a bit. Just a blend bit. between coffee and chocolate. Okay, so we're back. So now it's really warm, so you have a nice blend of chocolate and coffee. Okay, so that's probably the most technical part here. So you just have to put the liquid in a kind of plate, you know, not too much, like this. And take a bowl. Yes. And so the deal is to put the lady fingers in that blend, so you just have to put like this, turn it around, so not too much, so it's not too wet, and you put it, one, two, up, there you go. So they can't be too soaked? Yes. So you do it quickly? Yes, so it's very important, otherwise your tiramisu is going to get wet and too soft very easily. So you finished layering the first yeah. so thing. that's first layer, so now we're going to prepare the cream. Okay, so now the next step is to take the eggs, so you split the white and the yellow, how do you call that? Yeah, you split the white, yeah. Right. So you yeah. put the white layer in, separate, right. Okay, and you put the yellow layer in that stuff. And how many eggs do you do this with? So eight. You can pose it. Hmm? You can pose it if you want. Oh, that's okay. It's good to watch. Technique is important. This is the part where you like tell a story like Paula Dean or something. No, I don't have any story about, about Paula Julia Dean. Child or something. <laughs> I feel like so much like Julia Child right now. <laughs> Just tell me about the best tiramisu you ever had. Oh, it was in Italy, it was with you at home. Uh -huh. And what was nice. so good about it? I don't know, it was very creamy, soft, very tasty, and uh, very simple too. Yeah, what's the secret to a good tiramisu? Love. <laughs> Love. <laughs> it's going to have a sunshine on HDTV. <laughs> and a good mascarpone, I would say. Huh? So this one is coming from straight from Italy. Galbani? Galbani. Oh, I've heard that's a very good brand. An amazing brand. Okay, so you have to uh -oh. be careful not to put yellow, otherwise it won't work. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can't get any yellow. Well, you can't really see because this bowl is green, but... Yeah. If you get yellow, you will have a hard time, you know, to make your white... Uh, how do you say it? To whip the white? Mm -hmm. Whip it. Okay, maybe... Sure about. Yeah, it's the eight. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. So now, next step. So you you've got your sugar here. Okay, how much sugar is that? Uh, probably, I'm not sure actually. I would say 100 grams. Okay. Sure what it is in 100 grams of sugar. Okay. So you put it like this, you know, and after you can taste it, you know, if it's too sweet or not. Um, okay. And after you have to mix them up. Okay. Okay. So get some white stuff. Oh boy. And how long do you mix it? And you have to see when it's getting white color, you see that it's uh, done. And now 
it's kind of white color, you know, it's really well blended. So you add your mascarpone. Okay. And how much mascarpone is that? So this is a 500 grams, around 17 ounce. Okay. Okay. So you take a spoon. Start, you know, making the blend. The eggs. Like this. And now the next step is really to blend the eggs, sugar and mascarpone all together. Secrets. If you want to make it work, you just add some salt in the white, just a little, like this. And you start slowly, and after you make it faster and faster. Okay, so you've been doing it for five to ten minutes. Yeah, and you have to touch it, you know, to see if it's hot enough. How do you know when you're done? So usually, when you're done, you can take it and do like this. Oh, that's how you know you're done? Yes. Oh. So now you're done. So, but it takes a long time and we stop, yeah, just right. like five exactly. to ten minutes. So that's why it's very important to have fresh eggs. Okay, next step. So this one is kind of technical, too. so you have to make sure that you blend everything and you don't break the white. So you just take a little bit, you put in the middle and carefully like this, you know. <laughs> make like this to avoid to break the whites of the X. Okay. And little by little you add more. So you got a perfect big stuff of cream. Okay, so what you have to make sure that it's cold enough because they have coffee was warm, uh -huh. so you just add on top, like this, okay, Bring like this, so it's not too warm, perfect, pretty close, So you have to leave them a little bit more in the liquid because it's cold now, so... Oops. You can close it if you want. Okay, so you're going to do this whole thing again. Right. Okay. So it looks like you did the second layer. Second layer, so with biscuits, you just add the cream on top to finish everything. So same thing that on the first layer. Make sure you put everything, everything. Right. Good. Spread this on top. This. So you cover all the biscuits.
Okay. okay. And you are pretty much done. And the last step is to put in the fridge for 24 hours. Do you sprinkle some cocoa on the top? Yeah, but just just before serving. Oh, before serving. Okay. So it doesn't get too soaky. Okay, so it's 24 hours later and you're wearing the same shirt. Exactly. And boy. And uh, you just stop with the chocolate powder. Some quick. more Nesquik. Yes. On the top. You wait five minutes to have a glossy top. Okay. And you just serve. Very good. Yeah. Mm. It's very good. Okay, what's, what's the verdict? It's very good. Uh, Steve, do you have one? What do you think? Delish? Very okay. good. Very good. Amazing. Oh my gosh. I don't know.